G'day, and welcome back. So what we're going to do now is kick around the Hallig tree. And the first thing we're going to do is go back and kick a few heads from that little collection that was standing out the front. Oh, he went outside. <clears throat> you can see that fire is doing a really good job. Fair enough, that's all I'm doing. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Die. There we go. So for that we get the Lord's Rune. Um, and, eh, not too many souls. We get some. Some, some runes, but not millions. <clears throat> oh, now that he's gone, we can kind of play with Hera here. Come in here. Come play in here. So we got him, we got him, we got him. There's some fun stuff up there. First of all, we're going to grab the sacramental bud. Get the bird, dude. We want to go up there where those ballistas are. And we might be able to actually... Hmm. Uh, we can't get that way. We're going to have to go in. Alright, in we go. Alright, let's see what Madame Ruby sees. What's in here? that way or we can go up this way what's up here <gasps> dudes all right There we go. 
<coughs> one of them down. Uh, let's get rid of this happening. Sack of potatoes. And the last one. Oh, yeah. Should we just go and hit him? Oh! Yeah, ow. Alright. What was all of that for? What were you guarding? What was the amazing secret? straight sword that does magic damage and rot damage. Okay. Alright. Alright. Fair enough. Straight sword doing magic and rot. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not that excited. I'm excited. But I'm not that excited. Alright, let's go out this way. This looks like where the action is. It's been so long since I've been down here, this is almost just going to be a let's play. Let's have a look underneath first. Before we go up top. Ah, Heroes Haroon. Thank ya. Ham kya. That's worth quite a bit. So Lord's Rune is worth 50,000 and the Hero's Rune is 35, so we just got 85,000 in runes. Ah, this thing. Ugh, hate this thing. So essentially, this is a Lake of Rot again. Um, and we want to go... Oh, and it's full of, like, rot pests. Those pest guys. And we kind of want to go all the way down there and sort of get out of here so we're just gonna run ow
let us just get out of here, I reckon. Let's just get out of here and go in here and drop down and running down to Grace. All right, so now that we've come down to this grace, we're going to level up before we do this. This this has got a giant seed beast that we're going to be fighting inside the Lake of Rot. And we kind of have to fight it if we want to complete Millicent's questline. So we'll give it a go. We basically want 100,000 runes here. So let's eat that. That. 159. So we're going to come up here and when we come up top, if we're really unlucky, because gee, I hate sea beasts, it's over there. Ugh. I hate, I hate, I hate Peter Pan. So we kind of want to go up and over and down to there. I guess we just have to do it. Alright. So, let's put on all the bells and whistles. I hate, I hate Peter Pan. Alright, so when we come down here, it's going to launch. Um, and when we go in there and grab that, that's when it's going to attack. So, let's just give it a go. Oh. I hear you. We want to get out of this if we can. That's better. Ow. That's not better. Are we just instantly dead? Uh, pretty much. Try that again. Ugh. 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 I hate these seed beast things. Uh, no, this is the weapon. This is the weapon. Um, we don't want. Yeah, we do. We want all that. Let's see if we can get high defense against rot. Immunity 67. Immunity 41. Immunity 22. Okay, well, we're getting there. Mm, drop in immunity. Bull goat hurt. Too big. All right. All right. 
So we'll try it again. Oh, we're going to go out there later. Let's try this thing. a really good initial um uh let's do this Feeling good. Let's give it a go. Now, can I get up onto that? I probably can. See the thing. Ah, oh, don't. All right, well, this is not terrible. Seems to be vaguely working. Oh no, come on. You coming down? Come on down. You're still up there. I thought you were down the bottom. I'm a bit sick of you chasing me like that. Okay. All right. Well, third time's a charm. Let's see if we can get him again. try it with the Blasphemous Blade this time. Actually, I can't. I can't get him from a distance, can I? So we won't try it with the Blasphemous Blade because I can't get him from a distance. Alright. So we're going to try all of our tricks. Golden Vow. Blessing of the Earth Tree. Protection of the Earth Tree. Them. Them. Now, if we survey this area, that looks pretty good. That doesn't. Okay. 
We can dabble in the water. Oh, we can dabble in the water. And then we can come back up the top. If we're lucky. again. Okay, we got him again. Okay, we got him again. Got him again. Again. Oh. Got him again. Tense. Got him again. Got him again. This is a good spot to stand, I think. Well, oh, that was stupid. That attack sucks. Got him again. Again. Got him again. Got him again. Ah, yeah, I did. Woohoo. Well, that was tense and hardly worth it. Let's go pick up our stuff. We'll come over here. And this is where we can go and fight to support Millicent. So here we can either be summoned to assist Millicent against her sisters, or here we can be summoned to challenge Millicent. And very obviously, we are definitely going to be going back to the... Um, we're going to come up here and do it, but before we do, we're going to go back to the... What's it called? Drainage channel. So that we can replenish everything. Rejuvenate. Okay. So this time, we definitely want... Um, uh, Banish Night Helm. Nah, maybe this can just be Radan. Yeah, all right. I'm so, I'm that I you know what? I'm okay with that. So in this fight, Millicent's going to be invaded by four or five of her sisters, and our job is to stop her dying. Which is an easy job. All right. 
You're going to get so many of those by the end of this game, because there's 10,000 of the bloody things. So the helpful discovery I made is that you can actually um, buff up before being summoned. So let's try that. So first of all, I'm going to put this on. And this... And this. And this. Let's help her out. So she has to not die. And you have to not die as well. But importantly, she has to not die. And here she is, and there they are. Done. Woo! And now we've saved young Millicent. Hooray! And for that, you get the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia. And, as soon as I find her, where is she? She should be here somewhere. Uh, let's go and have a look up where her sign was. up here somewhere oh where are you Millicent why can't I see you I always miss her there she is oh hello Hi. Thank you for lending your hand. Ah, happy to help. Without your help, I could not have defeated that quartet. I feel as if I've been in your debt from beginning to end. Aww. Thank you. With your help, I was able to live as my own person. If only in passing. But this is where things end. I pause to even tell you. I took out the needle myself. Tell whoever put you up to this that if I am to flower into something other than myself, I would rather rot into nothingness as I am. Please, let me pass alone. The scarlet rot rides now. Worse than ever. Soon, I won't be more than a mound of flesh. Curse laden. Untouchable. I wouldn't want such a thing to bring you harm. Please, the scarlet bassoon. Curse laden. I wouldn't want. So, we quit and reload. And now Millicent is done. And you pick up the Rotten Sword Insignia Talisman, which is a, um, a brilliant talisman for things that have repeated attacks. So, Twin Blades, Daggers, anything that's attacking lots and lots and lots really quickly massively benefits from that talisman. Um, and you'll almost certainly want to be wearing it. Uh, fist weapons, whips, any of that sort of light stuff. Um, Double-handed uh, light swords, double-handed straight swords. But Macbeth wields a clay. Or in our case, a sinful, blasphemous clay, because we are a sinful, blasphemous boy. And now she's gone, and we can pick up the unalloyed gold needle. 
So we can see that she is indeed a, mo a mound of rotting flesh. Um, and now that we've got the unalloyed gold needle, we need to take it back to her nasty, nasty father. So we'll come back to Gowrie, um, and we're going to give him the needle and let him know what's happened to Millicent now that she's passed. And, you know, get your weapon out. Just saying. Just saying. This completes Gowrie's quest line as well, and you may want to, you know, cut his head off at the end of it. I know I do. You can see all oh, this is burnt because we trashed the place. My daughter, why would you take out the needle? You were so close, so very close to becoming the fairest of all flowers. Would you disown us too, as your mother did? We children of the scarlet rot. Millicent. Millennia. Do you detest us so utterly? Millicent. Millennia. Do you detest? So quit and reload. And quitting and reloading is, you know, it's annoying. Um, it takes time. Okay. And it is the kind of thing where, you know, you have to unfortunately just put up with it. because there's lots and lots and lots and lots of people playing Elden Ring at the moment. I'm pretty impressed we got that Seed Beast thing. Those are a nightmare to fight. All right, here we go. Millicent, millennia, do you detest? And when you kill him, you get the Phlox Canvas Talisman and Gary's Belt Bearing. Um, so you get his Belt Bearing. The, can the, the Talisman's a really good one. It raises the potency of incantations really substantially. So um, this that raises them. This greatly raises them. And it's massive. So if you are running an incantation build or a lightning build or anything like that, you want that. Um, all right. Now that we've done that, it's time to head into one of the strangest bits of the game uh, where we're going to go back in and now go around the other area, other part of the drainage channel, which may lead us via a circuitous route to exciting young... Uh, we don't want to go up there. We want to go here. There we go. All right. Drainage channel off to the left. We've got some roots. Follow these around. And we can drop down onto that and down again. And if we come over here, we will find... Oh, wrong one. It's okay. Oopsie doopsie. Uh, let's see. What happens if we go over here? And we want to go in there, but I wouldn't mind coming in from the top. If we can. Up and around. And you can see here that the trees have infiltrated everything. The roots have gone into everywhere. Okay, well that looks good, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. What about here? Aha! That's what I want. So when we drop down in here, we are going to get attacked. So you want to make sure you've got something happening. I'm going to put on Blessing of the Earth Tree 
just so I can you know, really get that health back once I start. Dying once I start just repeatedly dying like that. Yeah, so you can see that there are pests down there. Uh, but maybe I should have actually like planned the jump better. So let's do it again and plan the jump better. Okay. Still do want blessing of nurture though. All right. So first thing we're going to grab is the dragon crest. Um, Great shield, which we are totally going to use. Wouldn't mind going over that side. And if we come down here... We can get the Grace, and in front of us is Melania. I want to get my runes back, and I want to get that other shiny. So we're going to. All right, where'd my runes go? Okay, so, um, down to here, over to here, up, over to here, and there's the hole, before we drop into the hole, my blessing, mind eating one of them. Oopsie daisy. We want to go on to... Where are my runes? They're down there. Now this side had a shiny, I'm sure of it. I'm sure it had a shiny. Aha! A nascent butterfly! I would have missed out on my nascent butterfly. Where are my runes at? I can't see him. This says they're here somewhere. Alright, let's just go down and kill everything. Ah, oh, come on! Ah, oh, Jesus. Unbefreaking-leavable. Oh, well, I just lost 87,000 runes. Not happy. 
Right, in that case, let's just catch the lift up and kill everybody. They are such, yep, you guessed it. All of that for an Ionian butterfly. Okay, all right. Now we're going to come out here and have a little play. Before we go over there, there's stuff to the right and stuff to the left. Now this is where we're going to get a lot of soldiers. You can hear them. Oh! Okay, come on. Wow, I'm really unhappy about this. Tree knights are no joke. someone behind me. And another one of those bastards. Oh, now my message gets appraised. Where were you eight seconds ago? Right, they're going to die. Oh, I'm really unhappy about that. I'm not okay with that at all. <laughs> okay. All right, these guys are hitting pretty hard.
All right. Well, we know we've got Duda, who's just around the corner. At least it was. What happened to Duda? There he is. Wow. Really? Three. Three. It took three hits. Dude, you are too strong. Any more of these Halligtree Knights around the place? Because they suck. So you can go down there and get some Mikola's Lilies, which, you know, I don't care about. But also down here... An arteria leaf. And if we come down the side, I'm just looking for resting knights because, damn, those guys are no joke. All right, there's one. Another one over there. One, two, an outrageous amount of FP just to kill this guy who's dropping. I mean, they're all dropping their greatsword, which is lovely, but you know, you know, do I care? Not so much. And we get another hero's rune, which is actually worth a lot, a lot, a lot. It's worth a lot. It's worth quite a lot. All right. Well, now that we've come... Oh, back up. Now that we've taken out the right-hand side, we can go around and take out the left-hand side. which is mainly pests and rot creatures and stuff like that. So we'll leave this episode here and pick it up next time when we take out the other side. See ya!